That helps if you actually set the scene, huh? It definitely helps if I set the scene. Check that out. I'll make sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. If you're not seeing what I'm seeing, what's the point? Um, looking at where we're at, the Megalodon seems okay for the island cycling, getting something back. I do like the reanimation slash kill spell. Instant speed at five. Spawn Hunter seems okay. I don't really want to be going three colors where we're at already. Glimmer Heart seems okay. So. Well, this Anthropede has been pretty cool in picking up with all the playable rooms that people get. Being able to take care of a problematic room when it enters is nice. But I do think we're going to Megalodon here. Um, Watchdog is a very good pickup. Vanish from Sight would be pretty decent. Midnight Mayhem, The Ripper, The Abduction. These, these are all playable cards for sure. Well, knowing where we're at, I think we just want to pick up a Manifest in Dread. I think Enter the Enigma can be a pretty decent win condition. Just get a big beater in, you know, the Overlord, something. Push for that final bit of damage. He's tapped, put a 1 1 counter on a creature. I'm not getting a whole lot of the tap stuff. I don't really like the strength, even as a combat trick at instant speed. The researcher is also just kind of a meh pick. So, anything we pick, we're really not playing. I'm just going to take an uncommon. And Voros is is going around, and I, I'm I'm given the same two cards for my deck. And again, I don't think we want to be playing any of that, so we're just gonna take an uncommon. Um, this one is a playable card, being able to mana fix, and it gives me. A 5-5 five, five for 6 with the Manifest Dread, potentially flipping creature. That's, that's playable. That's a good pickup for us. We will be wanting to play that more as a 3-drop than anything. Uh, Twist Reality could be okay. Counterspell. This is more a survivor thing. I think we're going to take the Centipede with the Delirium. We're kind of wanting to feed the graveyard a little bit. Bashful Bestie actually fits the deck, even if it's just a beater that draws a card. We've got some decent manifest stuff. I don't know, we might not end up with the Overlord. He's going to enable Delirium big time. I mean, this is just going to be a 4-4 four, four that if we can tap will gain us some life. And we might play it. I doubt it, but we'll see. Um... I'm just going to take the uncommon here. Hey, the enigma. We'd play that, even if it's just one. Dogavoth's Lair allows us to mana fix. It's pretty decent. 
and fear of imposters encounter something and have them manifest instead that could be pretty decent getting a second main phase if he's tapped that card in your hand rest on that well that's not necessarily what we're looking for here like fear of imposters dog of oscillator dinner's tapped is an enchantment land it's hex proof uh, we want we want fear of imposters ooh kaito this is splashable so our person to the left must not even be close to black blue i mean i'm gonna pick kaito up here Let's see what soul tie starts to look like in a bowl of noodles Uh, chandelier looks better and better with all the things we'll be throwing away being able to put them back in the deck will be nice there, there's a swamp cycling we can we can immediately get the swamp fixing what's this the survivor do I would like to read that card please and thank you Beginning with second main phase, if he's tapped, put three one encounters on a land I control. It becomes an elemental creature in addition to its other types and gains haste. I mean, that could have been really good with the Valgavoss Slayer making just a big hexproof land if you can keep tapping that guy down. But I do think I'm going to get the, the mana fixer here. And keep that open for Kaito. Um, Surveyor is really good here. I don't know that we need to pick up two of these guys. It's one of the best removals in the format. This 2 2 is going to be amazing for our deck. I think the Cursed Windbreaker is what we want, though. As you control, have a tap for a mana of any color. When you unlock this door, mill four cards, return up to two permanent cards from among them to your hand. Dang. This thing seems really good too. Hopefully that will wheel. I doubt it. Do I want that more than manifest flying? I don't think I do. I want to take some blue. Oh, I, I would have been rewarded by going and taking that. That's that's a shame. This is Jolly Balloon Man. Unfortunately, we're not close to playing him. I was seeing a late rotunda like this, this card is insane in this format. Um, I'm going to pick up some removal for us, though. That's, that's what we're looking for. Uh, Vanish from Sight, I think, is the best card in the pack for us. Yeah, so we're going to pick up Vanish from Sight. Um, probably the Surveyor here. Uh, he's tapped. Tell I reveal a land. I think we want the counter spell. Counter spell. Don't really want anything here, so I'm gonna take the uncommon. Um, I think the glimmer burst is the best card for us here. Don't want any of this, so for the collection. Don't want, eh, we might play a chandelier. And we would have gotten the cursed one breaker anyway, huh? Two of them? I don't know that I want two of them. I think one is enough.
whenever an enchantment controlled you enters so making glimmer now brings a 3-1 with flying that's crazy good I don't really like this at all I uh, don't really want to commune with evil another under the skin would be great meat locker is gonna be good we kind of want the lands we've already got the one gem yeah, I think we're going to take under the skin here. Armor, bottomless pool. Oh man, I could do the filed thing. I just don't really have a whole lot of ways to get things back right now. Right now it's just under the skin. Nothing else actually brings back back out of the graveyard right now this feeds delirium alright well this will speed itself and help giving me another thing to get out of the grave but that's really what I'm looking for right now yeah like this let me shuffle up the four target cards from my graveyard into my library that's amazing The brood spinner here would be really good too. And now I want to recur just a little bit with this stack. I think with what we've got going. Turn on the permits, manifest dread. That's great. When well, I want to get the mana fixing while it's going around. And one of these would have been great to have all three. The Manifest Dread is really good here. We're just going to take the land though. Back, man. So many good late cards, just not in our colors. Unearning Grasp seems okay. This thing is amazing. Threats around every corner is amazing. That's going to help mana fix so much. How did we get this so late? Just whenever we manifest dread, we go mana ramp. Oh, there's more mana fixing for our soul tie deck. Heck yes, that seems so good. So late. Oh. I think we're gonna play the crack skull. Uh, go for the uh, the set collection. Gem, or do I just go with the mana fixing? I think I'm just gonna take the mana fixing. The one gem is enough. It's a vanish. Do we want to play this room? Nope, I'm going to take the little insect. The 2 2 death touch, give death touch on attack seems really good. Well, I got what I wanted. I got one of each. I think I'm going to play you. Well, we did get a little bit of everything as far as mana fixing goes. Or the threats are hunt every corner. That's that's a lot of fixing. We might even be able to get away with not needing to play that. We'll have the two black cards. We'll have three black sources. And then some. Crypts. Kaito. We should be able to get that going.
like cathartic flash burrower is good manifest dread is good cursed windbreaker is great those are great and we might just want this to be a 3-2 flying with flash and not have to really counter what's of whatever's going on we'll have to see i don't want the long neck your delirium mana fixing I don't think we'll need the survivor. Overlord will be great. Crypt will trigger with chandelier, right? Chandelier is looking better and better in here. Rats around every corner. Jam is like a three or a six. We got the beaters for sure. So I probably don't need the bestie. And honestly, I'm kind of not liking the counter spell at this point. That's five, seven, eight, nine, sixteen lands. I think that's fine with all of our mana fixing. Manifest Dread, we can afford to make a couple of lands into 2 2 creatures. Yeah, we'll give this a shot. This looks decent. Well, I mean, it's a little slow, but we can keep. This turn one tapped. We've got this potentially if we need it. Oh yeah, definitely want to do that. We don't we don't need this going crazy on me while I'm being slow. Plains, forest, so we're not worried, we're just gonna ramp. Get our one swamp. around every corner and we get to manifest uh, I mean we definitely put you down it's a shame we're not gonna get the thing but we're gonna get to impending you that's silly or we just skip the impending I'm gonna flip them up anthropod what are you breaking fine that is a fine um let's turn you face up and attack um we discard what a land Flash Brewer. That's fine. Under the skin. We'll manifest you. We'll get you back. We'll play a tap land. One, two, three, four, five. So I can't do that, but we can just recast you. Let me draw two cards. 
Uh, we can. I'm just gonna discard the windbreaker. I think at this point, that's rough. Do you want to fight my death touch? Oh, well, this this went off crazy. Chandelier Defiled Crypt I think is going to be good. And this only triggers once each turn, but I can do this on my opponent's turn. Um, that's fine, I guess. I, I'm, I'm not going to draw lands the rest of this game the way we're playing, man. I'm just going to start drawing straight fire. Oh yeah, blow it up now. Do it. Stupid. Well, the damage is dull. It's too late. I don't want to take that damage. Alright, what do we got? We got four, five, we got ten mana. This costs five if I want to do both. You cost six. But that first strike is going to mess us. I can just return the Vesti to their hand though, and that could be kind of fun. And just also vanish it. I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna play the crypt. We're gonna attack with both. We're gonna get that damage in. And then. Yeah, we're just gonna vanish you. Well, you're all tapped out and you can't do anything about it. Uh, Kaito. Hello, friend. Oh, uh, I guess I should have done the thing, huh? That is okay. Jitsu Kaido for the burrower. I learned something in Turn this one face up. Box. I've got this. And unlock the room. Have a blocker. And we'll just stun the bestie. Control the fight. Control the outcome. Oh yeah, control the fight for sure. Thanks, Kaido. Boom. Um, this one also seems like something I kind of want to jam in there all of a sudden. Gotta put another swamp in, take an island out. No, I'll take a forest out. 
That's seven, that's seven, that's four. Yeah. I mean, it is tempting, but it's all blue. <laughs> like, if this was any other color cycler. I think I got a mulligan this. This is fine. About as good as it's gonna get. That's what I'm supposed to do. Followed by a three one. Let's let's be aggro. Okay, not a whole lot I can do about it. Ho oh, ho ho, that's a good reanimator target. That is a very good reanimator target. I think we manifest here. Boo! I wanted that. We're gonna spin that one as well. that next turn and then we can also underskin and manifest dread and get back threats around every corner Yeah, the land cyclers are great. Like, I think two four fours. That's fine. My six five doesn't care. We 
did hit the seventh mana to kind of be able to pop off. Cast this and that next turn. Cool. Snatcher. Now we just gotta play the left or right game. Is it the left one or the right one? I mean, you can do that too. I'm alright with that. It's gonna leave my graveyard and I still have a blocker. Uh, I'll take eight. That's fine. Do it that way now? Or do I want to pull that back? I manifest dread you. Yeah, I think I do just want that back, don't I? I want to take a body this turn. do but it's what we're doing target creature can't be blocked draw a card no I think I saved that See your white mana for your reanimation spells. <laughs> like white, white. There's, there's no planes. <laughs> yeah, neither do they. <laughs> uh, luckily, that's not a problem I'm having. <laughs> I think I want that held back. I mean, if they can kill it, they can kill it. But I would really like to see that chandelier now, just being able to have a 4 4 flying that makes a 2 2 demon every turn is going to be sweet. Step touch. Surprise. Well, that's not what I wanted. All these cards to draw, and you're still giving me lands. A 
that's why that threats around every corner is so good. It just thins the deck so quick. I mean, it's playable. It's not the best looking, but it is playable. Oh, dogs, surveil us something good. Oh, we can't cast it, so it goes away. Where were you last game, huh? Back up against the reanimator deck. That's fun. I mean, yes, but no. Please activate it and swing. I think that's a game we just lost. That's fun. On it goes first, we keep this. That's because I put the Swamp Cycler in. Might not be wrong. I mean, if we're not doing anything this turn anyway, huh? Do we Forest Cycle this turn? Do I manifest dread? I think I wait until I have threats around every corner to manifest. So a little forest cycle. Maybe cursed windbreaker threats. Breaker. That seems great. One, two, two, flying land for three. Let's go. Fine. I 
didn't want it anymore anyway. Uh, let's actually put a creature in. That's cool. Go get a swamp. That's even better. Oh, that's so good! We'll get the other swamp, just to have them do no attacks. That's fine. You're smart, you get rid of parting. Come on. All right. Yep. Swing. You're stupid. Let's rush into combat, and then read my cards. Do the burrow here. Oh, we can part this one, two, three, four cards back. Yes. You want to trade? <laughs> I wouldn't have traded if I was you, but I'll take it. Oh, you haven't even seen the true power of my deck, please. Come on, man. Yeah, that's cool. Get rid of it.
like the 3-4. So I think we're just gonna hard cast Kaito. And we're gonna stun it. Oh, and I can attack in. Discard the land. the skin we manifest the dagger ma and we get back the defiled crypt um sure an island into play you think you can outvalue me opponent do you i'm willing to give you the shot kind of hard to kill as a 3-4 on my turn or whatever, especially if he starts pumping himself, but you can still attack him on your turn and deal damage to the Planeswalker, like, it is possible. Are you a 2-drop? You're a 3-drop. Oof. If this was a 2-drop, this would be fine, but it's not... I need to click the mulligan button as much as I don't want to. That is so much better. I'm gonna put Glimmer Burst back. Alright, let's rank up. Manifest. Such a good card. All right. Not really a fan of that. Uh, let's just go get the second swamp to have it, I guess. Stupid twitching doll. This thing is absurdly strong. Oh wow. That's cool. I guess I do get one turn where that turns off and it's a creature. It doesn't get to swing immediately. But still. card. Uh, 
could have been a better card for sure. Yeah, I see it. I'm not scared. Beginning of your second main phase. That's fine. You're recasting that this turn. What else you got? Well, that's fine. I want that, I think. the land and then we can parting you and get back you you and these two and we can swing in And I have six mana, but I need another green in order to flip my face down card, which kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah. If I would have taken the sorcery and left it in the, uh, the instant we would have had delirium. Well, we have it now. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. I meant to cast that as a creature. I don't know why I'm pending that. That was a misplay. I feel like I'm used to the adventure side of cards coming up on the left and the physical card being on the right, so to have the physical on the left and the ability on the right has been throwing me. I've done that several times now where I've misclicked the impending instead of just casting the creature like I should have. I do like that the enchantment also has flying. It just there's a flying enchantment on my board. Cool. I like that. 
Do I even have anything worth getting back? Yeah, we do. We've got the snapper worth getting back. I think we wait a turn. Yeah, that was definitely a misplay on my part. Oh, if you think I won't trade after that, you're wrong. <laughs> cool. So what if I do this? half your life total. You can block now, you can block next turn. Doesn't matter to me. Uh-huh. Just still one short. Okay, cool. Cool. Yes, we like this. Is this turn two or do I manifest? I don't really want to cast that on turn three if I don't have to. I'd like to save those. Maybe I just manifest here. Um, dog, just because I can actually flip it. That's why we keep under the skin. Make sure we get that back. Oh man, erotic apparition. Oh, I need one more for that. Interesting. That's all 
Let that resolve and do nothing. That's a Kaito. No, I want that. So I think what we do here... We're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna Spectral Snatcher. Get the other Swamp. We'll go attack with the Flyer. Oh, I needed to play my land. God damn it. Never mind, I'm bad. I was gonna bounce this back to my hand and have Kaido on the field. Ah, uh, misplay after misplay. You went for the land to play the land, good sir. That's why you put it in your hand. Ah, uh, missed a step there. Got ahead of myself. <laughs> Get your two damage in, that's fine. Why do you insist on tapping my double black every time I cast this card? Every time I cast this card, you pay for the four with both my black mana. Every time. Every time. Ah! Auto tapper and defiled crypt is just a bad combo. Noted. Is this land? What are you, dog? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can do. That's so bad. Do I want the draw discard? I think I do. Two more flying attacks. I'm just playing defense at this point.
One, two, three, four. Let's see what you got, opponent. You have a glimmer burst, uh huh. You want to trade two twos? <laughs> a little slow, a little controly, really grindy, just manifest two twos, all kinds of crazy. Oh, it's so bad. But it works because I can get my fourth land for the threats around every corner to fix for black. Uh, we just have to hope we draw something to do in the next two turns or it might be a quick game for opponent. Um... Snapper and then unable to scream. Yeah, we can't let that ability stick around. Yeah, scream at first. The only downside is if we do draw a good three drop play, now we're off curve from playing it. does it when it enters so I guess we'll watchdog here that does set us up next turn we can snapper and flip the watchdog if we feel it's necessary yeah let's just do that He's fine. You pump, you're getting in for one. Yeah, you're getting in for one. Trade you my dog for your evil doll any day. Um, honestly, I think I bin that. Yeah. Yep. Graveyard. No, not under the skin. Uh, threats around every corner. Yeah, dagger maw. Get my swamp. Just got to buy myself time till I can get a big butt on the field and then I'm good. I don't 
don't like that. That's the first thing they've played that I'm like, eh. I could deal without. You want it? You want an impulse draw? I'll let you impulse draw. Get your land, play it. You're welcome. Are you gonna get the monkey back? Really? All oh, right, I did kill that. We did kill that. That is definitely a thing I did. Mm -hmm. I remember now. I remember now. Um. If we play Kaito, he dies. That's unfortunate. No, well, I guess we go under the skin. What do I get back here? I did get back the watchdog is just something to play. Yeah, I think I just get back the watchdog as something to play. I'm get both swamps down. We've got six mana. We're at that point. We don't need that. That's fine. No attacks. So the dogs back out as a deterrent for them to not attack. Although giving the 1-1 one, one counter might encourage that. But Meglinoth is flippable next turn. Chandelier is castable. There's that plus three plus zero for a mountain spell, so I don't trust Norn. Scorching Dragon Fire, that's cool. And then we trade. Mm -hmm. Another under the skin. I think we just. Turn face up and swing. Beat my 5-7. Hello, how goes it? We ranked up. We made it to platinum. This deck is currently like 3-2, and 4-2, and two, somewhere in that ballpark. Unfortunately, I do think it is just the one draft a day since I've only got about 45 minutes left before work. So we're probably just going to finish this one out. Cost six. Yeah, that's fine. Also, help what? What do you need help with? Or is that supposed to be hello? <laughs> No, my chandelier.
manifest dread. Oh, it's the Overlord. And then we get a go mana ramp. Get a green. Attack in for the five. Oh, I'm killing FOMO first, for sure. <laughs> oh, opponent. <coughs> Woo, excuse me. Ooh, are you going to be able to kill it before I get to use it? You are. Good for you. So I think now is the turn that we just rub it in. So we go, I've got Kaito. And that can't attack. Control the fight. Control the outcome. And then I think we go under the skin. Get back the overlord. Gonna be really rough coming back from this. Cheerleader or not. When this dies, I get something, right? At least the battlefield. The exiled code manifests dread. Okay, that's fine. Kaito! I fucked up my bed. I forgot about the hover ship. I need more intel. My opponent is playing good. Alright, well, we need to cast the flood pits this time. Yeah, there it is. This is what we've been looking for. What do I discard here? I think I discard Glimmer Burst. Sewer, so it's one, two, three, four, five. So I can't cast that. But we can not let the auto tapper get me. Right, my opponent is playing good. That's not supposed to happen, just me. I slowed them down. Um, did we lose all three of our shifting cards? Because we got under the skin, under the skin, manifest dread. No, I can still cathartic. So. We, we can play a long game here. And if they think they're going to double block the Overlord, they've, they've got another thing coming. Let's... What do we got? We got 10 mana, so I can cast one or the other of these and a Vanish from Sight.
I mean, it's expected. We did rank up into platinum, so now everybody is a tryhard, even though we still have a diamond rank to go. I don't care about your cheerleader. That is a huge trade for me. I will take that. So good. Another vanish from sight, huh? There's no mana left to get out of the deck. We know that much. Um, honestly, I think it's the Windbreaker? That doesn't feel right, but that's what I got to discard, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Uh... I have decked myself. This is not fine. Well then, I think Kaito. Um, yeah, take action. Give me my cards back. And then we play a big beater. <laughs> All right, well. I knew this was uh, a thing that could happen. Having that Windbreaker would be super sweet. Oh, why did I think that had sneaky reach? Do it. I will kill the clown. Yeah, no, I like that order actually. Clown, face down card, and then the living phone. That's fine. Uh oh, I could vanish. I should have vanished. Oh, 
bad plays. Gonna get me killed. No, nah, there's enough Kaito and Wanderer on both of these cards that I'll sh I'll be fine. <laughs> really? This is close. Okay. You are brave. When it enters or attacks, draw two cards, then discard a card. So I really don't actually want that. That will kill me. <laughs> right? I'm just playing defensively. Cool, I have to survive for four turns? I'm no longer the beatdown. There's no reason to be trying, you know? Uh, I didn't have any cards left to draw, so Enter the Enigma was also dangerous there. Hopefully this next game doesn't take too long. What the actual fuck? <laughs> I play magic. Oh, this is perfect. So we get to go two, three, four and curve out. Oh, hold on to a vanish from sight. Thank you, Arena, for finally setting me up. Yeah, because you search for a basic. So we're going to go watch Doc. Um, honestly, I'm going to get rid of it. We, we've got so much mana fixing all of a sudden. We're going to be good. We're going to be good. Yeah, there's the Cadaver Lab. Oh, we are set up to win this game. Let's go. Give me a swamp. Yeah, this is so good. I'm gonna go swamp, threats around every corner. We'll manifest a dread. Oh man. We have to do the flesh burrow or Kaido goes away. That's fine. We'll get the other swamp. We'll swing. We get to get him back with the under the skin, so I'm not too worried about it. All right. Forget it always double taps my swamps. <laughs> I mean, if you're not going to do anything till turn five, I think I just win anyway, opponent. That is game, right? We just unnerving grass for their one creature and we win. Stop forgetting auto tapper is bad. Yeah, here we go, final boss. <laughs> Manifest reanimator is a stupid good. I mean, we're close. We are close.
Do we cycle the Megalodon? Yeah, we cycle the Megalodon. I'm just gonna do it now. Get those TVs out of my face. That's a good card. Spam blocked. All right, spam blocked. We'll do this. We got double blue. We've got double green. Let's get the double black. Like that. All right, we don't need that much mana. I mean, I would rather get it out with abilities and things than like this. just setting up Defiled Crypt this turn? This feels so wrong. Yeah, it looks like that's what I'm doing. Yeah, this, this set is very three color friendly. Got like a Jessicai room enchantments. Uh, there's like a Grixis rooms deck. Um, it looks like Soltai is in Manifest Recursion. I know there's an Abzan Survivors Recursion deck. There's 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 a lot of stuff. It's like base two colors splash a third. You know, and like I said, if I have the mana fixing, it's it's not a problem at all. It's it's when you don't have the mana fixing that it just kind of sucks. Um, right now, we're having the opposite problem where all we're getting is my lands, and that is also no good, so... I know I want my shark back. I think we also want to get rid of that and manifest. That's fine. We'll get the tunnel surveyor, throw that away. So I got a land and a sorcery in there now. We can get a creature in if we want. We're close to delirium. Um, potentially, man. Limited lately, like, has been great. There's not really any unplayable cards, quote-unquote. Like, every card is very, very playable. If you think I won't trade, you are crazy. My 2-2s are far more repeatable than you two, your 2-2s two are. I guarantee it. I mean, they definitely did get some of the better Manifest Dread cards compared to me. 
Ooh, had to throw the doll away? I would have manifested that. Like, what did you manifest over the doll? That is concerning. And then we drew more lands. So if we can survive this, like... I'll be sad, but... Drawing this many lands is the death of you in Limited. Two, four, six, nine, ten of my sixteen lands. So there's only six lands left in the deck. I mean, that might as well be a fucking land. Jesus. matters I'm pretty sure we've lost but six and three is not bad this was a good run If opponent wants to give me a chance, I'm going to take it. Cool Primo. Yep. I feel like every time Zamon plays Primo, it's just game over before it happens. Like, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got more lands than I got actual cards to play. An opponent just got to keep popping off because they actually got cards to play. That's, that's so cool. I like losing magic games because I drew nothing but lands. Like, I only have 16 in the deck. I'm even running a low number of lands because I go find them. This deck was super sweet. It was just the mana fixing in it was there. Like, all of that, just supporting the mana was amazing. But Defiled Crypt is good, Under the Skin is really good. Those two together just kind of won me the game, being able to recur my threats. It was a fun deck. The threats around every corner should be picked pretty early. Like, if you see this, you are in a manifested deck. You want to be casting manifest cards. This thing is insane. Just manifest dread and go mana ramp. That's that's three card actions off of one one go. You know, like getting that to hit. You can manifest dread. You get to go mana ramp and you throw the extra card after you manifest into your graveyard. So you make a two two. Put a card in the graveyard for delirium or recursion, and get to mana ramp all in like one card for four mana. This thing is busted. I can't believe I got one as late as I did. Kaito is definitely worth splashing, but he can be hard to get down. If you can get him down, though, you win games.